General state of the business. I mean, we haven't asked this question in a few years. So is it a healthy business? Is it a, a, a teetering business? What, what is your take on the health of the remote production business? And let's break it into two parts for companies like yours, which are a little bit larger. And then also, what do you, you know, for the smaller companies who I believe are having maybe some challenging times. But what do you see as the, the overall state of the market from a business standpoint? From a business sense, I think the market is healthy. Um, I think there's been more content than ever being produced, whether it's um, at a high scale or a low scale. Um, for ourselves, it's uh, we can't we can't have enough trucks. We we're, these are all my suppliers as well because uh, we have too much uh, business for our capacities. In terms of the smaller truck companies, um, I think it's uh, you have to have that capital to invest in, um, whether it's a Remy, whether it's 4K, whether it's HDR. So I think it would be more of a challenge for the smaller truck companies. Um, but we have uh, good owners, so it's been uh, we've been blessed. Phil? So I think the industry is uh, very healthy. And mostly because it's an industry that's open to change and to progress, and for uh, and you know, industries that that are open to that and, uh, and do well in the long run, and that's the, our approach at Mobile TV Group. We really like change. We really like the challenge, and uh, we we adapt well to it, and so uh, that's why we think we're doing well. Um, it is a very expensive business to be in, and it's not one with a quick ROI. You don't you don't make uh, money on a new truck uh, for a while uh, and the new trucks are getting more and more expensive so um, it, uh, it perhaps it's you know we've we've been able to do well in that environment Pat. yeah I agree with uh, Phil Mary Ellen I you know the, I think the business is is is, uh, is healthy I think it's 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 a different business than it was 10 or 15 years ago there's a lot more pressure from our customers to control costs and to be more efficient in what we do. Um, but what I find is that you know the, the larger scale events that we do are getting larger and larger and uh, our, our customers are spending more money on, on those kind of events and then the, uh, there's, there's a lot of cost cutting going on at the, at the smaller level. Um, I have a tough enough time uh, managing Game Creek Video and so I can't really comment on the smaller guys in our business, uh, um, uh, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's, it, it's, it, as Phil said, it's a challenging business and, and it's a costly business to get into. Yeah, I, I agree with, uh, with, with everyone. The business is healthy. Uh, it is interesting, though, when you think about when this panel started in 2008, the, the changes that have happened uh, in the industry over the, the past 10 years. So technology that, uh, that, that's coming in at the, the, the top end, uh, it was interesting listening to the panel this morning uh, about the uh, 1080p HDR uh, discussion, uh, 4K and, and so forth. So there's this technology that's, that's, uh, that's coming in. Uh, there's the at-home productions that is, uh, uh, that, that is being embraced uh, in, in the industry as well. So, uh, in 2008, it was, it was all about how we make sure that we, we maximize our utilization, how can you do things most efficiently. Uh, now there's many more influences from my perspective that, that have to be factored into it. It's not just about utilization. Um, it's not just about um, making sure that your employees are, are, are supported. Uh, you have to factor in all those other components as well. What are some